What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Logistical Styles coming at you with another video and today we are back in the lab and I'm going to be doing a video to kind of follow up on what I did with the uh, test between the DVS from Serato's control vinyl, the DJ Pro control vinyl, and the DVS signal you get from using phase with the RCA cables. So ever since I made that video, which was only like a couple of days ago, the new update for uh, DJ Pro came out from Algorithm and it is on DJ Pro 5.2. So if you go into your app store or on your phone or on your laptop, whatever, even your iPad, you'll be able to see the option to update the app that you have installed on your uh, device. So with the new update, there's a lot of things that they put in and some of it, I'm, a lot of it I'm not going to get into, but I'm basically going to go into what improved or what fixed the issue with the test that I did just a couple of days ago. And that improvement is the integration of phase with their um, DVS signal coming through in HID mode. Instead of using RCA cables that plug directly into the back of your mixer, now you, all you have to do is plug in a simple USB cable and you can either, I've been plugging it into my Rain 70 because there's a hub on the back. A lot of the new mixers have that on there. So you use the you plug it in, you use that hub you plug right into it or you can plug it into your laptop and once you install it or you do the updates because there are some updates that you have to do not just the update of the app but you have to update phase as well there's the phase manager you have to update that and it will do a firmware update on your um, receivers or your, your whole phase setup and then reopen uh, DJ Pro and you'll be able to utilize the um, phase with it only having to connect a USB cable so that's a really important part now if you also have a mixer like the rain 70 when you connect it to the new version of 5.2 you also get an option to do a update of the mapping and it will clear any custom mappings that you have so like on my mixer I had the uh, parameter buttons mapped. I had parameter on the right for instant acapellas and parameter on the left mapped for instant instrumentals. That's not there now since I accepted that remapping. I'm going to go a little bit deeper and check later on to see if maybe they did include a mapping for stems. Maybe they have something that's a little bit more um, comprehensive or better than what I came up with just instant acapellas and instant inst 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 instant instrumentals but we'll soon see anyway getting back to phase I have phase hooked up I can go into my laptop if you go into the DVS section I recommend that you do configure and that you do a calibration now you should also do a calibration right after you update your phase so there's an option to update your phase and then there's another option to calibrate I would definitely recommend calibrating after you do that because the results I've gotten after doing those steps has been really great so once you calibrate within the phase manager you open up DJ Pro I mean yeah DJ Pro on your laptop and you calibrate the um, settings for your DVS so all you have to do is go over into here hit calibrate they'll tell you to do the same exact song and dance that you did when you calibrate it in the phase manager you let it spin at zero percent then you hit calibrate then you put it at a complete stop you hit calibrate and then you're good to go so anyway anyway once that's all said and done you can go back into um, your DJ Pro software load some songs to your decks and what I'm going to do is going to be very similar to what I did previously in the other video I'm just going to use this ah uh, sound effect because I don't have a lot of beats readily available for me to just be juggle with that won't cause any royalty or copyright problems so I'm going to show you that here we are right now well let me put them on the deck first so let's go ahead and drop them on the deck let them sync up once you get that solid color then you have to go into your software to choose that you're using your wireless same way you do with um, Serato just go into there and choose wireless if you're having a problem 
keeping up with you know where buttons are you can always switch down here and go into daylight mode this is also an update from the software from the uh, 5.2 so now you can switch to daylight mode and everything's white just like it is with Serato but this I like this as my main you know screen because I really feel like that this dark this completely black dark it, it's different than Serato and that's the biggest thing that's been holding me back from switching to Serato is the feel and the look of it Serato is just is so much more comfortable even though I have the exact same crates and playlists sometimes it's more convenient for me to just pull up Serato because I'm used to the look because and I think it's just because this look is just so dark but if you go into light mode we got that now so that's a, a great feature from the update but um yeah I'm gonna load up I got the uh, a track scratch record set up with the eye the records are at let me put them both at 12 o'clock right now you see the software showing them at 12 o'clock now you see my turntables are straight at 12 o'clock let's make sure we marked up and now I'm going to switch mics over so I can switch over to the audio and we don't have a lot of feedback. So let's see how it works. I'll do a little scratching. I'll do a little beat juggling, rewinding, and then we'll see how well this all works with uh, the sticker drift. So now let's take a look and see how it went. There was a lot of scribbling and mixing and stuff. So that should have thrown it off by a little bit. But let's take a look at the uh, screen on the laptop first. Make sure we got everything lined up properly. All right. And then let's look at the turntables. And we are still at 12 o'clock with no drift. So all of that compared to the other video where I was, I, I did that scribbling and mixing and scratching for maybe like 15 20 seconds and it started to drift this i did that for a good little bit and no problems it still stayed true so um definitely i can say that the update did uh overcome that obstacle or that hurdle of having sticker drift now that we have uh usb support hid support um, with DJ Pro on the laptop only. I can't wait till they eventually get it to the iPad because yeah, I think the iPad Pro, if I can do it on my Intel based MacBook Pro from 2013, I should be able to do it on my iPad Pro uh, M1 chip from like a year and a half ago. So I think it's gonna come to the mobile devices, but you know, we just gotta be patient. But anyway, it's just definitely a good update. I'm very happy to see it. The uh, the daylight mode, I think, is a great thing as well. There's a lot of other great um, updates or features that came along with it as well. I haven't really even messed with the crossfade of fusion effects, and I can't really get too deep into that because my iPad, my MacBook Pro, as I said before, 
is an Intel based one. So the Intel based ones only get 80% of the neural mix features and they don't get the crossfader uh, fusion effects. So either I have to upgrade my MacBook, which I'm kind of hesitant to do. I really don't want to have to buy another MacBook or I have to wait out for them to come up with an update for the app for the iPad. But either way, this has been a great update and I hope you are able to enjoy this update as well. Let me know what you like or what you found that you, has been really helpful for you. And um, <clears throat> let's just keep the conversation going and uh, hopefully we'll keep coming out with more videos. But good job algorithm, great job. You know, you really stepped up and I hope you all continue to like, subscribe to the videos and I will see you on the next one.